Every year in September, Medical Preview takes place here at the University Hospital Hamburg Eppendorf. It's intended to give visitors, exhibitors and the trade press a foretaste of Medica in November and tomorrow's medicine. This year, we're on the scene with our camera. Herr Professor, Professor Moser, Moser, what exactly is optogenetics? Die optogenetic is eine neue optogenetics is a new method of controlling cells, the smallest living units in the body, with light. Opto means light. We have to bring light to these cells. Genetics means that we have to manipulate the cells with genetic methods, for example with a modification of the genetic information, so that they become sensitive to light. Which optogenetic method do you present here at Medica Preview? I've been asked to talk about the restoration of vision and hearing with optogenetics. My own focus is on restoring hearing with optical cochlear implants. This will be the main part of my lecture. How exactly does this procedure work? The current cochlear implant, our best neuroprosthesis, already helps half a million people to understand speech in a quiet environment. It converts sound into a nerve activation pattern in the cochlea. With optogenetics, we will now be using light instead of electricity. Light can be bundled better than electricity, so we can achieve a better pitch resolution. Und auf diese Weise, weil man Licht besser als Strom bündeln kann, eine bessere Tonhöhenauflösung erreichen können. Professor Werner, Essen University Medical School is developing into a smart hospital. What steps are you taking to achieve this goal? Whenever you switch on the news or open a magazine, you come across digitization again and again. In the hospital, it's all about the patient's medical record. You can imagine that files are always being searched for. This is a huge topic which concerns many people. You need a readily accessible file. It's therefore a good idea to have an electronic patient file where all findings are brought together, where the therapy and the individual actions of the employees are listed and brought together. You want to have this digitized today and bring it together with the radiological images and with the laboratory findings. This is only possible if you decide to swap paper for a digitized documentation. It's important in order to optimize processes that may not be running so well today and then digitize them again. What potential do smart hospitals offer? I wouldn't talk about potential. The whole thing also has a lot to do with investment. It doesn't just happen by itself. We mainly need a big changing process. You have to make the employees understand this. Their behavior has to change. This can only be done through many steps. And that is why I think this is the right way. We'll see later what happened to hospitals that did not achieve these goals in 10 years' time. I think this would be the wrong way. Dr. Gurdjieff, how does the ADVOS procedure work? The ADVOS procedure works in principle like a conventional dialysis, with the big difference that we cannot only remove water-soluble, but also protein-bound, water-insoluble substances from the blood. We do this by using the body's own protein, which we use or dissolve in the dialysis fluid. Thus, we are able to wash the body's own proteins out of the blood. What makes ADVOS special in your eyes? The special feature of the ADVOS procedure is that we permanently reprocess and recycle the proteins we use to enrich the dialysate so that we can detoxify the patient's blood with a very high purification performance. Why are you presenting ADVOS at Medica Preview? We've been on the market for about a year and are currently only available in Germany. 
Medica is a good opportunity for us to present this new process to a wider public and thus generate a little more attention for this process.